Hey everyone, as always, Dylan Miller Prospecting, and it's pay dirt review time again. And this time we're going to be visiting the eBay seller, Vendetta Prospecting. Well, he also has a website now, vendettaprospecting.com, but I ordered this bag off of eBay through a secret shopper, and that bag is the one gram guaranteed Vendetta Superstition Mountain Bag. So I'm gonna be really curious to see what's in this bag, and we're gonna find that out after I classify it down and pan it out. But first, here's the description. As you saw, an extremely detailed description pretty much tells you everything you could possibly want to know about this pay dirt, except for how much it weighs. So let's weigh it up to find out. And I'm not really sure why he doesn't state that, because in some of his bags he does state the weight, but in this one he does not. And there you go, 10.4 ounces. So under a pound bag, let's open it up. Let's see what we're looking at here. Should have some organics. Definitely a lot of organics in there. See some gold as well, which is good. Piece of scrap metal. <laughs> Let's check it for magnetics. Really not too much in magnetic, so if it's a pain to pan out, it's only going to be because of maybe some mud, clay, or organics. It won't be from Black Sands. So let's listen to some music and classify this down. classified down and pretty equal amounts I guess it does tear down a little bit with the majority being in the plus 10 and the least amount in the minus 40 but it is a definite gradual step down not too bad but I'm really curious to find out where the gold is I did see one piece in there it kept trying to peek its little head out at me so I'm gonna go get some water we're gonna pan this out and see if we can't find all of the gold so have my water, have my pan, have all of my pay dirt here, and let's just get started with the plus 10 and with some music.
finish painting everything out as you saw, and it was moderately difficult painter to go through, but we will talk about that in a minute. For right now, let's just show off the gold I did find. In the plus 10, one nice little picker in there, so really happy with that. In the minus 10, plus 20, about 30 little pieces in there, some nice shiny gold. And in the minus 20, plus 40, even more gold. A nice little pile, probably 40 to 50 little pieces in there. And finally, in the minus 40, even more gold, but not much, just three little pieces there. So let's weigh it all up and see what we got. Starting with the plus 10, the one little picker. Zero point two eight zero, and I am guaranteed, <clears throat> and I am guaranteed one gram in this bag. Minus twenty plus forty. I mean minus ten plus twenty. Zero point six zero five. Now for the minus twenty plus forty. Zero point two seven zero, and I'm not even going to try to weigh up these three little pieces. We're just going to add them to here. And then the rest. Let's see if we get our gram, which I'm pretty sure we did. One point one five five. So there you go. And now let's talk about pay dirt difficulty. Now for this pay dirt's difficulty, I'm gonna give a beginner, medium, advanced, medium, but really close to easy. And for an expert painter, it's going to be easy. And the reason this is a little bit difficult pay dirt is due to the vast amount of organics in it. And it does have some minus 40 gold. It doesn't have much in the way of black sands and it didn't cloud up the water too much. So if you can deal with the organics, it should be easy. And all you gotta do is find those couple little pieces of minus 40 gold. And now, let's just get to the ROI and the review. All right, finished calculating my ROI, writing up my review, and let's get right to it. This again was from Vendetta Prospecting, an eBay seller, and he does have a website as well, vendettaprospecting.com. This was his one gram superstition mountain bag. It was guaranteed one gram of gold. Its cost was $72. Shipping was free. So total cost right here, $72. Now I did notice the other day that his prices have changed and they are now $75 for this exact same bag with $5 shipping. So his prices have changed and there is no difference in price from his website to eBay. Now the gold I recovered right here, 1.155 grams. Gold spot on the day that this was received was $60.35, which makes this gold's value worth $69.70, which makes my ROI 96.80%, or on my scale, a 9.7. So really, really good for an eBay seller. Now for fun factor, I'm gonna give it the exact same as the ROI, a 9.7. It was really nice painter to go through. I really dislike the organics, but I don't penalize people for organics. But I think a 9.7 is more than fair enough for it. For painter description, he's getting a 10. I didn't knock off any points because he did stay to wait on here, but it's a really good description. He even tells you what the painter's difficulty is in his opinion. For pay dirt quantity and packaging, he's getting a 9. A 10 for quantity because it had no stated weight, so he gets a 10. And he got an 8 for the coffee bag, so 9 total. For customer service and shipping, he's getting a 10. The customer service was excellent and the shipping was excellent as well. This was ordered during part of the COVID nightmare with USPS, but it still shipped out incredibly fast. He had nothing to do if it got delayed because of the post office. It went out the next day from when the order was placed. For a total score of 9.7, which is really high for an eBay seller. It's probably one of the highest I've ever gotten, if not the highest. So really happy with this painter. Glad I did it. And now all that's left is to give away a 24 karat gold plated dime. 
So let's just flash up the score first. And now for today's 24 karat gold plated dime winner, this right here, that's going to Ken Carbon. So Ken Carbon, make sure you email me so I can send this off to you and to everyone else. Thanks for watching. Happy panning. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button below.